Hey friends, welcome back to another vlog. Today's Sunday, I'm about to head to meet one of my YouTube sisters, Kimberly. Hey girl, we're going to Planta. After that, I'm gonna go see my niece and then maybe go by the grocery store. I'm gonna show y'all my outfit really quick, but I need to hurry up because she said she don't like me like this. So I put on this Zara shirt that I showed y'all a few vlogs ago. It's like super oversized. I put on this oversized um, tan denim jacket from H&M, little split type pants from Abercrombie. And then these shoes that I showed y'all are doing like an oversized baggy look. Ignore the wine glass. I need to clean up in here. But anyway, y'all, I will see y'all. Potentially when we get there, I may vlog, I may not. <laughs> we'll see. You know, y'all rich You know, so we ain't really never had no old money. We got a whole lot of new money though. <laughs> Hi friends. It's Wednesday. So I'm slightly annoyed. There will be no video today. Not because I didn't have one. I had a video to go live today, but it had sponsored content in it and the brand wanted to hold off on posting it later in the month. So now I'm stuck with no video today. That makes me annoyed because I was trying to be like, I was like, okay, I'm about to be back consistent. I have a home vlog coming up on Wednesday. Then I'm gonna have a weekly vlog on Sunday. Um, and now I don't have anything. So anyhow, Y'all ain't come out here me listening to me talk all day about my problems. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> but I literally, um. Friends. Not friends. If I do anything else, I'll come to y'all today. I don't know. See your friends. We'll talk to them later. Oh my gosh. The most exciting thing ever happened to me today. My reveal came, did y'all shop the, um, I was about to say Black Friday, the, um, Prime Day sale? Why do I feel like the Prime Day sale just happened? Did it not? I swear, ever since the pandemic happened, it's like there's no buildup of Black Friday anymore because you can literally get everything on sale every day. Not literally every day, but what the heck is this? Oh. So we was walking, I was walking, um, Maddie to school the other week. And me and Maddie were walking to the crosswalk and there was other people behind us with this car that was coming in the opposite direction. They were about to turn into the crosswalk. Lady behind me blew her whistle, scared the chisney out of me. And I was like, oh, I need to get me one of these. <whistles> yep, up. <whistles> Girl. I probably shouldn't even put that in my mouth right out the pack. These ain't loud enough. We're gonna save the best for last. This is very cool back in were not part of the Prime Day sale. I don't even know if this is part of the Prime Day sale, but when y'all recommended pepper spray, I got me some pepper spray. Maybe a dumb question, but does this work on animals? We'll see. Oh my God. Oh, please. Oh my God. My back hurts so bad. So they also had it in the color black. I don't know if there's like multiple versions of this thing. I don't know, but I gotta start somewhere and I'm excited about this. I just hope it's not a situation where I'm like, oh, okay, this is not really doing anything. It's so heavy. I am so freaking excited about this. I don't know what this is. This thing literally took my back out. But I'm definitely gonna have to read up on this. She is a beauty. I am so excited. Okay, y'all, this is her. I am so excited about this. I know this might not be a big deal to some people, but I love coffee and I like just experimenting with coffee. I was reading the reviews on Amazon and you can tell the people who actually purchased this, they're like true coffee lovers. So they were saying like, if you're the type of person who just wants a, a, a nice cup of coffee that actually tastes like it was brewed by an actual coffee shop, then this is a really good machine. But if you're somebody who wants your coffee to taste better than the tattoo bearded guy at a local coffee shop, then I would go for something that's a little bit more advanced, but I'm not there yet. I just want mine to taste like I went and got it out of the, you know, out of Starbucks or better. 
Anyways, I eventually want to get to a point to where I'm going and getting my little, what is it, my lavender and making me a lavender vanilla. I tell you, that's what, that's the status I'm trying to get to. And I go in there and I start. This, my coffee. My coffee finna be looking like this. Y'all wait, mark my freaking words. This is the stepping song, okay? starting the spray paint process just upstairs in the loft but then it literally started floating in the air and was about to spray paint all of my furniture upstairs so i took it down to the basement i'm doing the first coat i'm gonna let that dry and then i'll try to do um a second coat maybe later today or tomorrow so basically what i'm trying to do is do all the little projects that are going to help with the bigger project my throat <clears throat> is starting to hurt so I don't know if I'm starting to come down with something. And then Miss Eve is here as well. So my energy is So anyways, I'm about to start. I don't know if y'all having a video. By the time, I'm going to see if I like the way that this girl. I'm going to talk to y'all probably tomorrow. Because I'm just not feeling it today. So see you later, lovelies. This is the coffee that I ended up going with, which I think I showed y'all. I watched a ton of YouTube videos on how to use the Reveal Express. And the videos that I watch, my battery's about to die, is this brand, but it was the green one that I originally showed y'all. But the last brew date was July, or the roasted date. And it said that the roasted date needed to be like within the last 21 days. Listen, I'm trying to pour the perfect shots at some point. Did not look at the price. I got to register things at $15.99. I said, excuse me? So you mean to tell me that I gotta waste coffee until I get my, my shot right? And I gotta raise $16 coffee? Anyways, the brew day on this is September 19th, which, I don't know. And then I also got um, <clears throat> this little gray sweater thingy from when I go back out those. How rude. I was saying from when I go, start back doing my walks outside. It's good. Obviously, I tried it on over this sweater, so it was a little bit snug. So I was like, she's gonna be good when it's time. Anyways, I must try to use my reveal whenever my stuff from Amazon gets here. I ordered <coughs> a lot of stuff. My throat hurts so bad. But that's literally the only thing. So, Clean Foodie Craven, which I talk about a lot, um, she is one of the people who, um, like, I watch like, for coffee and spoil or whatever. Basically everything in her Amazon storefront I bought. So I'll show y'all this stuff whenever it gets here. But outside of that, I mean, actually I could technically try it without, I'm gonna wait until I get out everything that I need. But yeah, anyway, I need to go check on the mirror. So I'll show that to y'all in just a minute. So 
So it is very hard to see this, obviously, because it's so dark down here. My blanket is ruined. So I'm going to have to take this upstairs, but I think before I even attempt to do that, I'm going to do one more coat. The way that it's looking, because it had black underneath it, is giving vintage, which I'm not mad at. But the, um, the color that I used was satin bronze. Can y'all see that? Look at all this. I cannot wait. Target has their um, some of their Christmas stuff already, as y'all seen in the previous clip. Everything in all of these bins is all Christmas. Those are all my Christmas trees, my wreaths, my decorations. We ready, baby, but look at this girl. All this all this furniture is just ridiculous. We need to we need we need art to get our lives together. Oh my god, I thought I got rid of that um blow dryer. I guess I didn't. Anyway, so that's why we're down here. I'm about to put another coat on this, and then later on today we'll go check it. Then I'm also going to get the stuff to fill the holes in Mackenzie's room. So hopefully at some point this weekend I can start. It is hurting me so bad to talk y'all. So I'm going to go. <laughs> So I got the um, Crema Coffee. It's a funnel thing to make it like less messy whenever I put the coffee, grind the coffee. I don't know. I'm gonna keep the, all the boxes to these things because as I do it, I'll realize what I need and what I don't need. But it's basically just like this little funnel type thing. And then I got a scale because I heard that it's good to weigh your beans. That way you know the amount of beans to grind um, to get the perfect shot. So some people will just put all of their coffee beans inside of the, um, the little hopper thing. And they don't stay fresh in there because it's not an airtight seal. So I also ordered some of those little individual seal things. So this is basically what the... I don't know what I just did. I don't know how to turn it off. This ain't all my stuff. I guess some, oh, you know what? The coffee bean, something ain't coming to it. The, 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 um, the station thing that holds all my stuff is not gonna get here until next week. But I don't need that to make coffee. Um, the coffee, the bean holders is this. So this is what it looks like. I know some of y'all probably like, dang, you really invested. And am. So basically, once I weigh my beans, I know how many beans I like to make with each shot. I can seal it in this little thing or seal them in these little things right here because these are airtight seals. So that way, every time I get ready to go pour a shot or make myself some coffee, whatever it is, it's already pre prepped. I feel like that was the longest box ever. I, I'm also missing another Amazon package because I ordered some glasses that um, to more of the, the Soho's shades i was watching Aaliyah faces vlog i think it was one where she went to new york and she ordered some that were like almost like sheer like transparent and i thought they were really cute they almost look like glasses so anyways we'll probably do this like sunday because i'm not in the mood this is what it looks like and then the pro lifter pro pro lifter whatever it is the thing that the grinds go into and then you take it over to the other side to actually pour the shot it's wooden. Hopefully, it's a perfect match. If not, it's fine. But this will all go over there on my little barista station. That's what it's called. It's called a barista station because I'm a barista now. Period.
Oops, I don't need. Hey, friends, happy Sunday. Mm. Okay, let me show y'all. I've been playing with my machine all morning, but I um, redid this whole little area, so there's no longer a tea station because this has a um, hot button feature on here, so we can get our hot water from here. Um, but y'all seen, I got, I think it was my third pour. I perfected my espresso shot. So after I did that, <clears throat> excuse my voice. After I did that, I weighed my beans. Like I made my husband some. So I did it a fourth time and it was another good shot. So I weighed my beans with a little weight thing right here to see how many beans I needed to use each time. And then I also weighed the Prolifter. I think that's what it's called. Hold on real quick. It's actually called a porter filter. So I measured the the ground coffee with the porter filter. And now I know exactly what the weight needs to be in order to pour my perfect shot. And then this is the other thing that came in the mail the other day or yesterday. Please focus on this. It's hating. It's on me. Yeah. This thing right here, which basically gets out any of the clumps and stuff that's in the Western name, <clears throat> that came in the mail yesterday. So I used all my little gadgets. It was really fun trying to like get it the right way. So obviously I wasted some coffee trying to do that. But like I said, I've already pre-made all of my coffee. So all of it's stored in these little sealed things. So each time I make it, all I gotta do is just pour it in there, grind it up. For the most part, I think I used everything that was in there. But the only thing about it, if you don't have this machine and you're interested in getting it, you gotta make sure that you pay attention to your water because it doesn't tell you whenever you're out of water. So, and the, a lot of the videos I was watching was also pointing that out. So, it can't be below this man thing. It'll still try to run the machine and you can end up messing the machine up. Anyways, what I was going to ask y'all is, do y'all think that I should get the one with the stand? I know when I was doing the baking station over there, somebody mentioned that I should get one that's a little bit more elevated. But this is where um, I'm not doing the baking station anymore. But I do plan on um, always having like some type of baked good, whether it's pre-made or what. And this little thing, do y'all think it should be elevated a little bit more? Or you think it's fine like that? Then, I also want to get a two-tiered marble tray thing. So I can actually have coffee cups over here. And then all of my, like, coffee essential things right there. But she cute. We look real official. I'm excited. Anyways, the other thing that I'm planning on doing today is um, probably prepping Kenzie's room. As y'all can see, my voice is kind of, it's actually better than it was yesterday. But I just completely lost my voice. Body was aching, all that kind of stuff. So I don't know what I had, but I told my husband, I said, I'm about to start wearing a mask again because I done got sick twice in the last month. And I don't like that. Anyways, I'm about to go downstairs and get this mirror real quick so we can see what it looks like in the light because there's not really that much light down there for me to actually see whether or not I did a good or a bad job. And then I'll probably start painting McKenzie's wall. The other thing is I'm planning on ordering the um, samples today. I'm so late on this. But it's the samples to go in the guest bathroom. Um, I'll show y'all what they look like when, when they get here. End up going with two different samples, but there'll be a total of four because one has like an eggshell background with black. The other one is ergot in black. Um, so we'll see what those look like when they get here. When y'all also mentioned that the Sephora sales at the end of this month, I finally got my thing in the mail or I finally checked my mail and seen that I got my Sephora thing in the mail that is I think it's our phone 27. I've been building my cart, but I did go ahead and order this because I didn't know if it would sell out. It's the um, Fenty Beauty or Fenty Skin Butter Drop. The cinnamon, what, which which one is this? Yeah, warm cinnamon. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not taking the packaging off of this because I like the pink one better, which I don't remember what it is, but this one just gives too sweet. And I haven't even used the original one I have. I haven't used it up. It's pretty much gone, but I don't know, and maybe I should just wait because it's not even sold out of Sephora yet. So maybe people don't like this one as much as the pink one. I don't know. So I could just get this at a discount. Hey, what's come for fighting? Don't get so fast this night.
well clearly i spray painted the mirror so i gotta look up how to get that off but i like it you can kind of see the black underneath it a little bit which i feel like it gives it kind of like an antique type look especially right here with the flowers but i think this looks so much better gold than it is black i mean i like the black but obviously i didn't have anywhere to use it but i did miss a couple of spots i don't know if y'all can see that so i probably just spray paint like a q-tip and fill that in it's a little bit of spots like right here and right there but it's not really noticeable this is actually going to be up on her dresser i haven't decided if i'm putting on her dresser or her wall but you're not going to be able to notice that <clears throat> but it looks like it's a a pretty even paint girl this is the easiest project i have done today that is really pretty considering doing wallpaper at the top and just painting the bottom it's a hole that i need to fill and two screws that i need to take down but i tell y'all i probably tell y'all every other vlog i got so many projects i need to do around this house i just need to start finalizing stuff because there's no reason why it'll be three years in march that we've been in this house why my dining room look like a storage room right now i'm trying to be patient but it's like had you been patient from the beginning, you wouldn't be in this situation, which I probably would because I just like changing my mind. But slowly but surely, we'll get there. I'm not even gonna talk. I'm not talking down on myself anymore. Anyways, that was random. But yeah, I've been looking at some inspo for teen rooms, but most of the teen rooms that I look at, they're more so like like a bunch of lights and I don't know. I obviously I'm gonna get Kenzie's input, but Kenzie plays this game. I forgot what it's called, but you basically can build your own house, you decorate it. And the way that she decorates her house literally looks the same as how we decorate our house. So <clears throat> I think that the point is that she likes what I like and I like what she likes. It just reminded me of seeing these pictures. One of y'all wanted me to see it, let y'all see what these pictures will look in my living room. I am going to entertain it because I ain't got nothing else to do. So let's see. I don't like it. We tried, I don't know if y'all remember a while back, we tried doing ignore beans toilet. <laughs> um, we tried doing the, the color combination. Looks wonderful. But we tried doing um, the, the mirrors in here. It didn't look right. Um, but we never tried doing pictures in here. But I personally want shelves. But obviously, one of y'all wanted to see what the pictures look like in here. And if I was going with pictures, these would look really good. They would look really good. Especially if we hang them up on the wall about midway. Have a nice statement vase or something over there. The colors would flow very well. But I personally want... The shelves over here if y'all got my husband's contact information feel free to reach out and let him know that we need to get started on that project sooner than later otherwise we'll be waiting that was a joke by the way i did buy another picture to go on the um, samsung frame tv i sent it to my husband because he has to um do it through some kind of way through his account so i'll have to remind him to put that up there so anyways i will come back to y'all whenever I get ready to do something else that is of importance to show y'all, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs>